Hello everyone, this is the Daily Jerusalem video for July 9th, 2017. Our passage for today is in the book of Psalms, Psalm chapter 32, and we're reading verses 1 through 7. Blessed is he whose transgression is forgiven, whose sin is covered. Blessed is the man to whom the Lord does not impute iniquity, and in whose spirit there is no guile. When I kept silent, my bones grew old through my groaning all the day long. For day and night your hand was heavy upon me. My, vital my vitality was turned into the drought of summer. I acknowledge my sin to you, and my iniquity I have not hidden. I said, I will confess my transgressions to the Lord, and you forgave the iniquity of my sin. For this cause, everyone who is godly shall pray to you in a time when you may be found. Surely in a flood of great waters, they shall not come near him. You are my hiding place. You shall preserve me from trouble. You shall surround me with songs of deliverance. The title for today's devotional is God's Presence in Times of Trouble. Some of the most precious verses in the Bible were penned when the writer was experiencing strife grief, turmoil, or heartache. From an earthly perspective, we can't always distinguish between what's trouble and what's a blessing. At times, trouble results in some of God's most wonderful blessings in our life. And yet there's a tendency to think that if we live just right in this ungodly world, we won't have to face any troubles. David was able to write Psalm 32, not because he calmly sat on a hilltop somewhere watching sheep and playing his harp. Rather, he could express those profound truths after undergoing great difficulty and heartache as well as God's forgiveness and deliverance. The joy David found in the Lord was sweeter because he had tasted bitterness. The Heavenly Father will not always rescue you swiftly from trouble. He may watch you float downstream right toward the waterfall while you call out, Lord, don't you see where I'm headed? He does see you. He knows when you're at your wit's end, when you're hurt and broken, when you feel resentful and bitter. So, why does he sometimes seem so far away in those situations? The Lord doesn't necessarily intervene as we would like him to, but he's always present in our times of trouble. Reference there to Psalms 46, verses 1 through 3 and verse 7. What's more, he meets our needs in a way that benefits us in the long term, instead of merely providing a quick fix. The question we should ask ourselves is, am I willing to learn what God wants to teach me through this situation? That's an amazing devotional. I love you guys so much. I hope you have a blessed day today. I hope you make time today and every day uh, to read God's word and pray. It's so important. And I hope you guys have a, a blessed day, and I will see you back here again tomorrow.